What's going on guys? This is Veteran Guard from Skyrim Battles back at it again with a new uh let's call it Veteran Notes again. So I promised, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> let's just say I kinda mentioned that I was gonna make a couple of these every once in a while when there's a couple of new battles and stuff like that. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed the past four or five videos that I released last week and this week. So uh what's going on with the channel let's 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 start up uh let's start from the from the from the from the beginning um so i i guess i left off with uh Dibella, 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 and who else forget the girl she's fighting Dibella and verminia verminia or whatever anyway so um thinking of uh continuing right after i think it's uh malika is fighting at it you know uh, i'll let you guys know what's going on anyway so i'm gonna get to the to the most recent videos and that's uh that's these guys that are fighting the uh, dovahkiin mirak and all that stuff so uh their video got released that's the official for now of course everything always gets upgraded I'm looking at the suggestions i've been hearing a lot about the ebony warrior and his spawn so yeah, I'll switch the spawns around. I also noticed that Karstag, when he has spawned, he disappears sometimes. So I don't know if it's part of uh, his time, his timing or whatever. I don't know. So I'll keep an eye on that. Um, um, not sure. Uh, well, Shea, Shea Gorev is getting upgraded, of course. I have an idea for him, so I'll mention it right now. He's gonna he's gonna have uh, the two spawns that he usually has, which are those two mirrors of himself but since uh i learned how to pick and choose what i want to spawn i don't know about the half spawns i don't know if it works but i know for a fact i can make as many people appear when they get summoned and stuff like that mods from different mods from different mods help out other mods uh for example uh summons with uh like the four uh wolves whatever they were from her scene i forgot what they're called i keep all oh, the familiars um you can get as many as you want by using a perk that comes from another mod the elemental dragons and he lets you summon up to 10 people i think so uh, that's always in mind uh i'm gonna jump around a little bit so hope hopefully you guys catch up because this is all in the back of my head but now i'm beginning to understand where i'm at and uh Shea Gorev's gonna get two spawns, gonna be half spawns. Uh also with the half spawns, it's not really half spawn, it's more like twenty five percent when their health drops to twenty five percent. Cause I've noticed that um uh, sometimes uh the NPCs die with a with the last two hits or whatever. And they're not able to heal at the same time to I mean at, at the time to to anyways, you guys you guys get get what I'm saying. They die before they're able to heal their, their full strength and stuff like that. Uh, Magicka, sometimes I control it through console commands when I'm recording. For example, the Bella and, um, and Verminia, when they were fighting, I think Verminia ran out. So I kept giving her more during the, during the battle. Um, also, oh, that's, that's where it came from. The Bella died by one of the hits without healing because, uh, because she wasn't able to, yeah, yeah, uh, she, yeah, I don't know, guys, you guys know what's going on more <laughs> than I can, than I understand what's going on with the AI and all that stuff, but, uh, yeah, sometimes if it looks too perfect, that's because I'm controlling them, uh, I, I remove stuff during a battle, add it again and stuff, sometimes to help out the NPC that's losing, sometimes, it depends, you know, 50-50, like with the battle in Berminia, no one really knew who was gonna win, uh, Stuff like uh, Talos versus someone else, Periite, I think it's going to happen. No, 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 wait, what's it, Talos and Periite? You know, guys, I'm I'm lost, so I'll, I'll continue with the other stuff. So, Shea Gora is going to get two spawns. He's also going to get uh, summons uh, that he could uh, bring the Dark Seducers and uh, Golden Saints. So, those are coming back. Also, I have a surprise for the two spawns, how they're going to be dressed. And you guys are going to kind of understand when i mentioned mania and dementia so that's a clue right there oh there's a small tournament coming that i just thought about yesterday night when i was uh doing some stuff with these guys uh, <clears throat> so um 
uh, Dragon Priests are coming back, but I'm going to make, uh, we already have the regular ones, and we're going to have the, uh, the human form ones, which is, uh, a mod that's been around for a long time called, uh, Conoric Acrements, I think it's the name, Conoric Acrements, so, now when I took a look at the mod, it has, uh, robes and it has the the face mask or whatever the the, the dragon priest mask colored with the, the the robes are colored based on them and stuff so it matches and it looks cool they're gonna come back in human form that way Connor it can come back or come in because uh, I've never really was able to uh, you know I, I, I tried for years to get the mask into the dragon priest but it, it, it has to be shaped somewhere else blender i think it's a program you actually actually have to make the mesh manipulate play place it on the actual dragon praise all that stuff so you know that's way beyond me so uh i gave up so i was gonna make them human they're gonna come back strong first they're gonna come back as vanilla i'm gonna have we're gonna have a tournament see who's the strongest and then um and then what else uh I guess that was it. I thought I had more um, suggestions. Oh, a lot of people are mentioning about uh, Malakav, uh, Molag, and uh, and Mayroon Stegon. Especially Mayroon Stegon's been losing a lot. Molag is still in the tournament, so he's going to get his upgrades. Uh, and Malakav, I think, is still in the tournament. So, yeah, don't be discouraged if the NPCs lose right now. Like, Right now, the the Mirac and the Dova King Avenue Warrior, Dra Daedric Warrior versus uh, the House of Troubles. That doesn't mean that that's the official. You know, there's there's an official, yes, for the moment. But there's also always going to be reload. It's going to be 2016 edition or now 2017 edition. So they're always going to get upgraded. Uh, stuff from Morrowind and and stuff. Uh, I was I was I was uh, I was looking at stuff on Skyrim Nexus. The guy that made the uh, Shadow of Morrowind, whatever it was called, the mod, uh, decided to keep upgrading it, but then stopped and said he's not going to upgrade it anymore. He added a couple more stuff. I didn't know. I didn't notice the difference. I haven't found what he added and stuff. But I still can't use NPCs on that map because uh, the ground is not nav meshed, which is like for the uh, NPC to know where they're running. I did that manually one time in small section of the map but uh it took so long so i don't even know if i'm gonna hold battles in that map either way i'll probably just do them on soul time if it's soul time related someone mentioned asura versus the false tribunal so that's coming up i i was gonna start recording and make pictures and take pictures of it for for the poll but i didn't get a chance to because i was always i was looking into other mods which is uh I don't know if you guys seen it if on the Google Plus page. There's um, there's a new armor for the Dova King based on the Stormcloaks. But since you know, now I'm gonna get into the Stormcloaks and Imperials yet, versus or who's who's who or what. It's a nice mod. Uh, it's a nice armor. It looks like the Talos armor. Uh, actually, no, hold on. It looks like uh, it looks like the Ebony Warrior armor, which is uh like uh steel plated sort of with designs and stuff you, you guys check it out on google plus page and there's also imperial knight or dragon knight armor which is for the imperials with uh it, it, it looks like a dragon scale and dragon plate like the the shield looks like that one too and it's for the imperials then there's the um storm cloaks have uh actually it's not the storm cloaks it's just ulfric has a new armor like the warlord one but it's a warlord, bear, fur, something nice looking stuff. And that's 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 around, you know, it's gonna get added. Uh, I was messing around with the ENBs, the presets, all that stuff, you know, Dyna Vision and whatever. And I was able to get the stuff to look even better than before. And you know, the the battle's been looking nice, but now I'm doing a little bit higher settings and I'm also doing those mods, so Take a look at those pictures in the Google Plus page as well. Uh, there's uh, some minor stuff that I changed just to see how it looks, like the bridges, 
better rocks and stuff, 4K textures, all that stuff. I'm keeping an eye on everything. Um, what else? Your suggestions, guys. You suggest whatever you guys want. I always keep an eye out. If I see something interesting, 19 th thumbs up. You don't have to get 19 thumbs up. You can just 5, 6, 7 or whatever. If it looks like a lot of people are on it, then I'll make it. Uh, stuff uh, like uh, Mirac, Dover King, you know, they're always going to show up. But that doesn't mean I'm always going to make them. I'll take a while to, to because, you know, I want to keep everything uh, going back and forth. Diversity, too, in, in, in the channel. So it, it's just not one thing all the time. Uh, I, I know I've heard people saying about uh, they're tired of God battles. You know, they want something else. But where what is something else? You know, give me an idea and I take your uh, suggestions. Uh, that's why I keep going back to vanilla stuff and trying to see, you know, who to bring back and stuff. Uh, General Tullius has a new armor that you guys might might not like. You know, I, I, I can't remember what armor, what, uh, what mod it comes from, but it's there. So I got that one. I also got the retexture one, which is a darker red and a darker black. Kind of uh, his, uh, his, his uh, armor right now kind of looks a little bit washed or faded. So that one brings out the colors more. So yeah, I'm I'm back. I'm 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 keeping an eye on the channel like always, I'm trying to get the best suggestions. Oh, there's a big, big, big battle besides the one with the t Talmor and all that stuff, the Pen Penitus, Penitus, Oculatus, or whatever they're called. Uh, it's it's it involves Alduin. That's all I'm gonna say, and it involves legendary dragons. So, if you guys find a comet, you guys are gonna know. Who's going to fight in that battle? So maybe you guys want to search, search, but it's been about a week or two. So you guys going to have to scroll through a lot of comments, but I'm not going to give away. Yarl Balgriff, now that I remember, I was messing around. I uh, I replaced Sithis. No, I didn't replace Sithis. I duplicated Sithis file and changed them into Yarl Balgriff, Balgriff, whatever, the greater. And uh, remove the shouts and remove some OP stuff except that teleport spell and that other apocalypse spell. That's just for fun. It's just, it doesn't mean that he's, an, he's a character that's like, you know, there forever. But, you know, if, 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 if it kicks off, takes off or whatever, and you guys want to watch him fight, then, you know, keep suggesting him. He'll be like a guy that just kicks everyone's butt or whatever. Um protects the white run or whatever i don't know so yeah there's room to play around and have fun in the channel it's not everything all serious serious also I, I'm, I'm i'm not sure if you guys noticed there's a lot of new stuff uh, uh music wise like uh the uh the two steps from hell's music there's some other stuff that i'm throwing in there uh there's some stuff called most wonderful music ever i think and and it just gives you so many different songs or tracks from epic orchestral whatever inspiring music whatever they call it so all that stuff is there too shout outs to dante's uh he did a remix of star sky i think it's called from two steps from hell which i had just uh added a couple of days or three four days ago into one of the battles and it was really nice song catchy still in my head right now and when I went to his channel, I saw he had a, a new upload, and it was that one. I asked him for permission. He said, yeah, go ahead, use it. I always give him uh, credit, and uh, I always suggest everyone from the channel to go check out his channel. He has a lot more songs, more music, more tracks. So stuff like that will be added, too. And uh, then I think that's about it. Like I said, things are going to keep continuing to get upgraded so don't be discouraged if you see your guy that you like may room stagon or something one of your favorite npcs always losing if it's yeah if it's two three four five in a row they're gonna get upgrades may room stagon just got those two crimson day drops that throw that fire like the dragons so you know that's one step moving forward uh molag ball still in the tournament He's going to get some more spawn, shouts, stuff that's related to him. Uh, I was working on Meridia. To be honest, I forgot about this. I was working on Meridia, and I gave her some uh, 
animated uh, wings like the ones that uh, Periite has, but uh, they didn't look right. Like they were a little bit too grayish and stuff, and 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 the way she was moving with them, it just I, it just made sense to keep the other ones that she already has. But uh, everything's gonna get upgraded. Even Verminia is gonna get since she won. She's gonna get um. And she's stuck fighting Jigalag, which it's like everyone gets stuck fighting Jigalag. Uh, she's going to get uh, half spawn. She's going to have uh, those uh, devotees, that, devotees, devotees, whatever they're called, uh, that uh, that follow her from that Twilight Tower. I don't know. It's not Twilight Tower. It's something else uh, near Dawnstar. Um, they're, they're going to be helping her, too. So... Uh, everyone eventually gets upgraded um i don't know about guys from oblivion and morrowind i haven't really seen or been re requested i know one of the last one was shayo gorav the coc shayo gorav but even he hasn't really been around uh i'm just keeping an eye on whatever you guys want to see so if i see a name being thrown around too much to, then i'll probably be throwing that guy into the battles a lot uh, I'm always working on this. Um, I keep an eye on the channel when I'm around. Uh, I know there was a time in the summer when I was taking time off, but uh, I'm back. You know, it's October here. It's nice weather and uh, it's nice and cool. It's, it's not summer. It's not heat. So um, I'm relaxing the computer, just working on this stuff. So keep an eye out for everything new that's going to come up and start showing up soon. I always recommend you guys to read what I post er on every new video, which is a little bit of uh, snip of whatever I just recorded and uh, to check out some stuff in the Google Plus page so you can see Bo's posts, other stuff, pictures and all that stuff. So stay tuned. Skyrim Battles continues. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Leave your comment, your suggestion, I mean, in the comment section below. Give it a thumbs up if you see something you like so that way you know i can see what you guys want to see and uh i'll upload it so thanks for watching and stay tuned don't forget to subscribe